Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I have the BoxyCharm Premium Box. It's huge. And this is gonna be the Fenty Collab Box Takeover. So we're gonna unbox it and see what we get and do a little look. So yep, this is our BoxyCharm Premium Fenty Box. Comes with a card as usual of how much everything costs. And we have some of these items out of boxes because I already opened them because I could not wait. But some of them are in boxes because I was like, oh, I already know what that is. And I knew what color it was. So here is our Moroccan Spice palette. And everybody's going to be getting the same items. We'll just have different colors of some things. Here is what this palette looks like. This is what this palette looks like. It is so pretty. I'm super excited to be getting this palette. I know a lot of people were saying it was too colorful, but like, look, is it too colorful now? It's a neutral palette. I'm really excited. I'm here for it, and I'm excited to do a look with it. Um, and then for the matchstick, I got the shade Confetti. So pretty. Let me see how much product is actually in here. That's a decent amount of product when it comes to a cream, like, highlight type thing. Let's see. Ooh, wow. That's stunning. That's gonna be really pretty. And I think this is considered a multi-use stick. So maybe you could, ooh, I just dug my nail into it. Maybe you could use it for not only highlight, but eyeshadow, lip, whatever you wanna do with it. Speaking of highlight, everybody this month got the Trophy Wife color of the Fenty highlighter. Now I'm a little sad about this, because this is stunning, don't get me wrong. But it's really, really gold. And I just don't know how it's going to work for my skin tone. I am going to try it out because it's I've heard such good things about Fenty highlighters. But I wish that they had a choice for colors. That would have been nice. Next, we have the Invisimat blotting papers. Now, I have really dry skin, so I have absolutely no use for this. I'm not going to use it. And then we have our lipstick in shade... Mademoiselle, I think, or is that the type of lipstick it is? I think it's a Mademoiselle. That's super, super dark, and I just don't know if I'm going to use this, so I'm probably not going to use it for this look because I may gift it to somebody who will actually use this super dark, dark, dark lipstick. I like to use dark lip, liquid lips because then they don't move. I'm always afraid with a dark lipstick, it's going to just smear all over my teeth and kind of go everywhere. This I'm super excited about. This is Gloss Bomb in diamond milk i've heard such good things about fenty glosses and i'm super excited to try this so if you want to see me do a look with these shades and these things come keep on watching because here we go so what i'm gonna do now is go in with a fluffy blender brush into sh oh the shades aren't on the package let's see into shade quicksand which kind of looks a little bit like a satin and just coat that brush and i'm going to take it right to the crease now i just have my base makeup done i haven't done um anything but prime the eyelids let's take this off that might help me see what i'm doing a little bit better so that is pretty pigmented that's going in really nice. That looks good. And we're just going to do the same on the other eye. And I'm just going to do a quick look. Nothing too extravagant, but something an everyday look. Probably with this super pretty champagne glitter shimmer. All right. So that blended out really easy. That didn't take me very long at all. Now I'm going to go in with this little brush. I think it's from Crown. And let's see, what do I want to do? Let's go into Saffron. That's this shade right, eh, right here. And ooh, that's pigmented. And we're just going to tap that on the corner. And bring it out a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Sorry. This is awkward. I don't have my normal mirror, so I'm kind of like, eh, don't know. So with a padding motion, and I know this looks crazy, but we'll get it blended out. We are going to go in with that same blender brush we used before, and let's go into shade Come and Get It right here. 
And we're gonna use this shade to blend our other shades together and feather out those edges into that pretty V shape we all like. Ooh, that's so pretty. This is blending these like seamlessly together. And this is like the caramel brown color. So pretty. Now the only thing that I wish this palette had that it doesn't is a matte white shade to blend into because these colors are so pigmented. I have wanted to try Fenty for a really long time, um, but they're just so expensive. And I've heard really good things, but that looks really pretty. I know that it's like a little patchy right here, but I'm still having that problem with my dry eyelids. So I really am not gonna blame the shadow. I think that it's honestly my eye because this eye is like blending so well. I definitely don't think it's the shadow's fault. I used a lot of different skincare recently and it's just like really made my eyelids like peely. I don't know, I can't I can't tell you what it, what it actually was because I used too many things at once. So I just kind of stopped and I'm slowing down. I'm gonna wait for this to heal and then kind of do one thing at a time and see what it is. So the shimmer that's calling my name is Mirage and I'm gonna go into it with a finger. So pretty and I'm just gonna pack that on the lid. Okay, so this one's all right. It's not my favorite thing in the world. Putting a second coat on. So it's not as pretty as it is, I think, in the pan on the eye. It doesn't have like a ton of base pigment, so I'm having to put extra coats on, which is kind of annoying, but it's not horrible. Now I'm gonna go into shade Casablanca, another shimmer, and I'm gonna use that to kind of blend the shimmer with the matte and add a little extra sparkle. Ooh, this one I like. This one has like a green glittery look to it. That's so pretty. That turned out so good. Now what I'm gonna do is take shade Mo Rock and Ice, the white shade, and I'm just gonna hit the brow bone. And the inner corner. That's pretty. So pretty. Now I will say fallout wise, there's nothing in this palette. This palette's pretty perfect and it's plastic so it's easily wiped clean on the little bits that I did spill. Fallout on the face, almost nothing, just a little bit of glitter. So I really like this palette. I think it's great to have in the box and I'm excited about it. I'm going to use it multiple times for sure and this palette is $29 which I think is actually what it's on sale for at Sephora right now. So they didn't try to get us with using the old price because I think it was more expensive. I think it was 50 originally. Okay, so now this is the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in Trophy Wife, $36. A lot of money for a highlighter, but let's see how she does. It would be great if I had a highlighter brush here. Oh, here we go. Coat the brush. Oh my God, that is so much. This is not my normal highlighter brush, but it is like massively glittery. So definitely for a fun night out, not a big deal. So glittery. You see that? I don't hate it. I'll have to see. It is definitely a glittery highlight. I think it would be really pretty as an eyeshadow. So I'm definitely gonna keep that. Let's use our glitter gloss. 
I'm wondering if it's sticky. Oh my God, that's so white. I like that it has this big doe foot applicator because a lot of glosses, they don't do that. They just have like that little flimsy thing. So I just had to dunk in my applicator one time. It does feel a tad bit sticky. It looks pretty. It's very glittery. I noticed the Fenty, very glittery. But it's pretty. I think it would be really pretty over a lipstick or something. I think that would be the best use for it. And then I don't know what to do with this matchstick thing. Because I already used highlighter. Let's see. What can I do with it? Oh, that was a mistake. So I just added like a blue purple sheen to my nose. It's definitely purple with blue glitter in it. Oh, you can see it right there. It's not ugly. I think it would be a really pretty highlighter. Let's drop it right here. It's kind of weird because I already have highlighter down. Oh, that's pretty. I think it toned down the gold just a little bit. Ooh, look at that. Of course, I put it on the side that you can't really see. Okay. So you see the gold to per gold to purple. So I'm definitely happy with this box. I will say I, there's other Fenty products that I would have rather seen in the box. I'm definitely happy with the Moroccan Spice Palette. I'm happy with the um, lip gloss. It's definitely like caking right here. But um, maybe if you did a lighter application or you put it over a lipstick, it would be pretty. I'm definitely happy with it. The highlighter's nice. I just wish there was a color choice. The lip, not my color, but it's nice that it's in here. The matchsticks and the blotting paper. I feel like those are kind of odd things. Like, had they looked at my beauty quiz, I have dry skin, they should not have put these in here. I will never, ever use a blotting paper. I don't just, I just don't get a wheelie, but I do know people who will use this, so I'll gift it to them. And then, um, this matchstick is such a weird item. I would have much rather seen the Fenty mascara because we can always use a good mascara and I know Fenty's mascara is supposed to be so good so I mean I say this box gets a solid B plus for me maybe a minus I'll say an a minus this box gets an a minus I am so happy to have these Fenty products I never thought that I would own you know six Fenty products so I'm really excited about it um, I am gonna get the base box and as soon as I do I just got the shipping notification that like the labels been printed today I will do an unboxing of the base box and go ahead and pop it up on my channel with a tutorial I hope you enjoy these tutorials I know it's kind of weird when you get new products in a box and you're not really sure what to do with them it can always help when you see these kind of videos so please leave a comment down below of what you thought of your Fenty box and what you plan on doing with this matchstick, because it is definitely weird. I think it'll be really pretty as a cream eyeshadow. So that's what I'm going to use it for next. If you want to see more tutorials with these products, again, leave a comment down below and let me know. But thank you for watching my channel. I hope you have an excellent night, and I really hope you enjoy your Fenty box. Bye.